If you would subscribe to the live uh, screen sharing room on DAX and watch uh, every day the live trades I do on time during the market hours, the first hour of cash trading and then US session and why I'm taking these trades, you can go on my Twitter page here at this name and click uh, this uh, on the pin to it here. This link which will prompt you to a paper subscription service which is uh, have uh, a small description here and uh, the first two days is free then you can have free cancellation if you wish so and then it's just 19 euros a month so if you click login here then this will prompt you to a subscription uh, details and then uh, you will need to let me know about this so I can send you the password and uh, be, so you can be able to log in every day and watch the live uh, screen sharing or you can just go to my YouTube channel here, which I, I upload every day the video after what happened after the European cash market closed. And this is the link here of the everyday recording after the market closes. So this is just free. You can feel free to go here and just watch this. Okay, hello everyone. So we see a gap down today and price just at yesterday's lows. So just held support here. Uh, this blue line is equivalent to yesterday's lows. So going to see if we hold support here or at 600 since a balance low, then try to grind higher. Of course, we'd like to go long once above initial balance high for a move up to. 660s and a gap fill although looking at the bigger picture here you can see this constant failure since outside of higher Bollinger band yesterday return all the way down below mid Bollinger band and now even gap down as a couple of times this week this is very well traded there so perhaps price will either go straight out of this to the upside or straight out of this to the downside if it goes, we'd like to see what it does at 5.30s uh, or so, which is the weekly high, the weekly low, the low of the week, basically, since this uh, sell of previous day, two days ago. So in case of a downside, we'd like to short this once below 600 for a move down uh, to the weekly lows 5.30s, this would be a very nice trade. Hopefully, the cash open will not be just as choppy as it have been in the previous sessions and we'll see some directions, although better be cautious about this because you never know how this is going to behave. But if we see price going below 600 and holding, then we'd like to sort this for a yesterday's low retest. Again, we need to see at the initial breakout of initial balance high how it will behave if it will hold or if it will pull back too much. If it pulls back too much, perhaps a good short against this area in anticipation price can go even lower. Will be a good trading opportunity. So let's see. Initiated the short position against the initial balance high here and the special this will hold resistance and uh, will tag uh, 600. Let's see if this happens. Initial action was to go lower but held support here at the midpoint. So let's see if this will continue towards initial balance low and if eventually it goes all the way down here. Of course for confirmation it to go below 600 and hold for this scenario. Out of the short here early, early entry, so let's see if it holds above this balance high. We'll try to go long for a gap fill here. Initially, the short position once again here against this balance high, just against 26 is level. So, not sure about this to be honest. Seeing some. Uh, straight pullback inside the balance like yesterday which broke out in the balance high then failed so anticipated this will hold resistance here and then will pull back towards uh, 600 and initial balance low eventually straight down on target scale out first target here since the entry very nice entry although risky so now we like to see if this support will fail and we go towards 600 if it breaks 600 then will be very nice to see this down all the way towards the weekly lows 
Also, line in the sun for this is to hold below 600 for uh, confirmation. Very nice entry here, straight, straight down. Scale our second target here, 20 points. So, key level is to see if this will break and go further downside. As a value area, we can see that price failed to extend inside yesterday's value area. And this is a very nice area of resistance. So perhaps price would like to move elsewhere to find value. So let's give it some time. Out of the rest of the short of the trade, immediately bounce 30 points since this support at the lows. You can see how quickly this market behaves, although now breaking out higher, although scale up two targets immediately at this. Uh, 30 points sell off now immediately towards the upside. So let's give it some time to see how it will behave and if we manage to go on a long trade. In anticipation now this can move all the way up to yesterday's value at a high 680s then eventually 700s. That was very very quick reversal here. Initially the long position here 36 for the momentum breakout. So against the initial balance high 23s. This is very aggressive towards the upside since the support here at the low of the day and 600. So we like to see this expanding further already 747 points into the range. So if this can go up to 680 against the value at high, it will be very nice trade. Although I'll try to catch the momentum here, so let's see if it goes further up. It is yet another long here at VWAP in anticipation. This will hold and will continue higher. Let's see if this happens. This trade was too aggressive here, although I managed to get in another one here, so anticipating a continuation higher. This trade of the pullback straight. Walk straight up here, so let's see how further up. Flatten both positions here, no reason to hold this. Uh, not sure if it will hold here as perhaps can go just balanced uh, inside of the range. Very aggressive swings here today. The only problem with the further expansion is that we have already 47 points and 55 is the most common range for the first hour of cash trading. So it's questionable how much this can expand either side. Hesitate to hold the position here for further and anticipation this can fail and blip straight down although seems is a good level to fight against this but it doesn't work straight up so let's see. It is already once more long here against VWAP, so if price goes below 22s, uh, will flatten the trade. Let's give it some time to see if it works. Out of the long here for a tick or so, so... That long trade, both long trades on VWAP here would have been great, uh, like 20 points or so, though managed to stopped out at the second one by a tick and then immediately price towards the upside. Now we see some kind of resistance here at the high of the day in failing to extend. Although if we focus on Bollinger Band, this was a very nice support at yesterday's lows and 600 here. Now perhaps price can go the way to the other side of the Bollinger Band. Of course this doesn't mean price cannot consolidate then make a new low during the day. As is not the doesn't hold straight straight up to go and break out. So perhaps you can see a slow grind higher. Let's see how this will be played out. Also, as I said earlier, the in terms of range is at its most common range. So we need to see how much this can expand further. Also worth mentioning that dollar index here had a very much weakness below 800 here yesterday held resistance now trying to make a new low monthly low here 
So this eventually will lead to euro dollar strength and uh, thereafter uh, equity is weakness. So let's see another nice indicator to track the strength of the dollar. Initiated a short position just against Vigo up 28 here in anticipation price will move inside the range since it fails up to the highs here also looking at this value area once again price failing to extend higher so we need to give this some time and see if it eventually works and holds below Vigo up then goes towards 600s Scale up the position here now waiting to see if it goes towards 600s nice area of resistance here so let's see if it has continuation Scale up further the position here at yesterday's lows now holding for a move to go for a trade to hold and eventually prices go all the way down to 540s moving stop to break even so we like to hold this for the rest of the session as long as possible unless it reverses and stops me out of this Okay, so first half cash trading already, nice trading opportunities today, although I'm not happy I missed this, although placed it very nicely long here for this continuation higher, and also not happy I bought the momentum high as being aware that the range is close at its most common range for the first hour, and that means that we have less chances to expand further for the first hour of cash trading. Nice trade here uh, below Viva, but this for continuation lower. No, now still holding 22 entry here for potential move down towards yesterday's lows price, the weekly lows price consolidating just at yesterday's lows here. If we continue to see dollar weakness, we will likely European equities to go down as this means euro strength it is likely to weigh on DAX also looking at the bigger picture here on the daily chart you can see again we are still uh, within this very well traded range generally outside of Bollinger Band failure then potentially like to target this side of Bollinger Band here for 8500s eventually not sure if this will happen today though Okay, so here we are a few hours later and price got absorbed here at yesterday's low all day here every failure, every trial to go further down got absorbed now price is going towards uh, yesterday's value area high I got long here at 624s and scale out at the breakout now still having uh, part of the trade to hold until yesterday's value area high then we would like to see if this can go eventually up to yesterday's high as well flatten the rest of the position here up to 74 nice uh, 54 points of the final target of the trade ok hello everyone so what we see today so far is the absorption here below yesterday's lows uh, all day price failed to extend lower and got absorbed of course the ones who shorted are hard to cover and price went all the way up to yesterday's value area high almost so earlier on I got long here at uh, 620s initial balance high and once price went above Viva scale out the position uh, up to the high of the day at the time and first hour of cash trading range high then flattened the rest of the position all the way up to the highs since a flattened price just immediately collapsed and uh, sort of down towards initial balance again so we'd like to see if we hold once again support here at the lows for a long opportunity and potentially price can go higher also need to be aware that this week at the US Open once US comes in we see some failure and new lows for the day if this happens and fail to get absorbed here at the lows we would like to go short uh, for at the best trade, trade location for a move all the way down towards the weekly 
low scale five forty or so. So let's see how this will trade now. Also, we need to have a look once again at the dollar index here and see that it did broke uh, to new weekly lows here. So if this continues to if dollar continues to weaken, likely to see a break a breakdown on DAX. So we mean we'll find a trading opportunity for the downside. So let's see how this will trade now. And is here the short position here at 14s against uh, 25s here against initial balance high. We need to see if this will eventually get absorbed. Of course, price will go higher and I will be stopped out. So, but again, how, how many this, this can have? Also, we have final line of support here at 600. So. Spy straight down the cash open, so we need to see if this will eventually break down the day, the loss of the day which got absorbed and goes down towards weekly lows 540s. It will be nice if this happens, so let's see. Out of the short here, no reason to hold this, it got absorbed immediately once again. Here at the initial balance midpoint, so we'd like to see if a long against this level will be logical. So, spy immediately held support below 227 and now above its opening price. Better give this some time and see if it eventually holds, or uh, generally, if this absorption then will lead to a breakdown here eventually. So my stop goes above here, this trade will still have been working out, so let's give it some time and see. I gave it a goal initially in a long position, 620s, in anticipation this support will get absorbed once again and price will go towards the other side of the range, so let's see if this happens. So if you would like to have a look on the 5 minute chart here less noisy chart you can see how these three candles here are perfect support to the midpoint of initial balance area so this is absorption you see market pushing down pulling the bids pulling the bids then everyone who is trying to get in short is paying and all this area is getting absorbed here then eventually the one who shorted here are trailing the stop and then once Price, for example, above Viva, we can see we're likely to see further spike higher. This is exactly what happened uh, this morning here. You can see at these levels, which is yesterday's low here at this area, price pulled back there, got absorbed, then spiked higher and even higher here. So let's see if this will happen now. Very nice trade location to go long exactly to the tick there. Although I was still short, then scratched the trade and now immediately long from 621s. Now we need to see if this above view will flash further upside. Eventually, we'd like to target 642s, which is value at a high of the day. Then, of course, the high of the day. Not sure if it will get up there. So, let's see. Scale out first target here 10 points into the trade. Price, as I said earlier, once above view going uh, higher in a faster manner so let's see what it does at 6.46 which is a high the first hour of cash trading and a uh, very nice pivotal point you can see here resistance once broke down resistance then straight down so we need to see if this will eventually go all the way up straight upside here scale out second target 20 points into the trade you can see price once broke out to be up here consolidated then further upside now looking to hold this position all the way up to the high of the day potentially so let's see if this happens so basically you can see price held very nicely support here at the absorption area although resistance at this first hour of cash trading high which held earlier as well the issue with this rally is that we don't have underlying strength but we have just generally consolidation below for the US market so 
this cannot be sustained for long, although SPY held higher. If this changes, of course, we'll see further upside. I'm still holding the third part of the long trade here for a potential retest up to the highs of the day. So market pull back here and held support once again and in Sabahans high in the midpoint of the first half of cash trading range now straight up within 3 minutes or so from 24 up to 46 still holding the long position would like to hold this potentially up to the high of the day it be, would be very nice trade if it happens also looking at the 5 minute chart you can see again to the tick support here at initial balance high like at initial balance midpoint very nice level so looking to see if we eventually go higher spy straight straight up leading DAX so if spy holds eventually DAX will fall just flatten the rest of the long position here at 45 so this failing once again of course this can extend higher and higher as we get closer to the European cash flows but it's better to trade what you see and not what you think so let's see if it was a good decision flattening here instead of holding for further upside ok here we are a few minutes until the European cash flows you can see price just uh, failed once again to hold above here and grind high towards the high of the day nice trade today this in the middle of the day captured the whole move uh, also this support here and then reversing the position and capturing uh, another nice move as well so generally market failed so far to make a new for the day of course we need to see what will happen after the European cash close 